Welcome to my channel Engineers Academy. Let's solve this problem. In this problem, we are required to determine the magnitude and orientation measured counterclockwise from the positive y axis, right? So remember that we have to find the orientation that is the angle with the positive y axis of the resultant force acting on the brake, right? If FB force is equal to 600 Newton at theta is 20 degrees, right? So the magnitude of this FB force is given. This is 600 Newtons. And this FB force is making angle 20 degrees with the horizontal or with the x-axis, is right? So if we resolve these two forces, right? Since we are re uh, required to find the resultant of these three forces, so we have to find the our x component of the resultant. That is the component of the resultant which is acting in the positive x direction. So our x will be equal to FAx. Or we can say that our x of the resultant is equal to the summation of all components that are acting in the x direction, right? So, so this will be equal to Fax, the resultant of Fa in the x direction plus the resultant of Fb in the x direction. And similarly, Ry, the component of the resultant along the y axis is Ry is equal to the summation of all components in the y direction, right? So we can say that this will be equal to F A Y that is the component of F A in the Y direction plus the component of F B along the Y axis is right. So to to find our X and our Y what we need to do is that we need to resolve these two forces right. So I will resolve these two forces. So let's say that this is the F A Y component right since it is acting in the positive Y direction right and we will have this component it will be acting parallel to the x axis is right so we can write that this is f a x and this is f a y right since the angle is made with the y axis is right so f a y is the cost component right so i can write we can write that r y is equal to f a y so f a y is the cost component so i will write that this is 700 if e y is 700 cos of 30 so i will write that this is 700 cos of 30 degrees right similarly we can write that r x is equal to f a x right so f a x so if we consider this triangle then f a x is the sine component right so i will write that this is 700 sine of 30 degrees right similarly this is plus and this is plus right so now if we resolve this FB force into its components, right? So if I resolve this FB force, so one component of FB will be acting in the negative x direction like this, right? And there will be one another component of this FB which, we, which will be parallel to the y-axis, right? So it will be acting like this, right? And this angle is theta, remember, right? So this component, this is FBx and this is FBy, right? And since FB is making angle theta with the x-axis, is then FBx is the cost component, right? So I can write that this is FB magnitude is 600, right? So this is 600 cos of 20 degrees. And similarly, this FBy is 600 sine of 20 degrees, right? So now we can write that FBx is this 600 cos of 20 degrees, but it is acting in the negative x direction. So we will write that this is minus... 600 cos of 20 degrees since this is our positive direction right so this fbx is acting in the negative direction so we have to put minus sign with it right similarly fby is acting in the positive y direction right so it is positive there is no need to have negative sign with it right so we will write that this is 600 sine of 20 degrees right so now we can find our x and our y so our x is 700 sine of 30 degrees minus plus into minus is minus right so this is minus 600 cos of 20 degrees so this is uh, minus 213.82 right so i will write that our x is minus 213.82 newtons and similarly we can find our y Right, so our y is 700 cos of 30 plus 600 sine of 20 degrees. So this is, our y is 811.43, right? 
right so ry is 811.43 newtons now if you want to draw the resultant on the on this diagram let's say if this is my positive x axis and this is my positive y axis is right so our x is acting in the negative x direction let me draw the negative x axis as well right this is our negative x axis is right let's let's say this is negative x axis is right so our x is acting in the negative x direction right so let me draw it so this is our x which is acting in the negative x direction right and let's say this is this this magnitude is no one this is 213.82 and similarly our y is acting in the positive y direction right so let's say that this is our y right so the summation of both of these will give us the result right by head by head to tail rule if i add our x with our y right this is our r y right we can write that this is our y right so the resultant will be from the tail of our x to the head of our y right so this is our resultant right so in the problem we are asked to find the orientation measured counterclockwise right so from the positive y axis right so we have to find this angle this theta let's say that this is phi right so we are required to find this phi right so <clears throat> as we can see that if this angle is phi right then this angle is also phi since both of these angles are alternate angles right so we have to find this phi angle right using this triangle so now if we apply tan phi right to this triangle right so according to this tan phi this is perpendicular right so we have to write that to find this phi this is tan phi is equal to r x that is the perpendicular divided by the base right so according to this phi r x is perpendicular and r y is base right so we can write that phi equals to tan inverse and r x magnitude we will use only the magnitudes right so magnitude of r x is 213.82 divided by r y which is 811.43 right so this will give us the angle with the positive y axis is right 213.82 divided by 811.43 so this angle is 14.76 right so phi angle is 14.76 degrees right so this means that this angle is this angle is for 14.76 degrees so this is the angle measured in the counterclockwise direction with the positive y axis is right and since we are required to find the magnitude of the resultant so again we can apply pythagoras theorem to this triangle right so i can write that r equals to r x square plus r y square and then we have to take the square root so then i will calculate it directly right so r x is 213.82 uh, squared and plus 811.43 squared so this magnitude is 839 right so we can write that the resultant magnitude is 839 newtons right so this is the solution of this particular problem